my channel this is an introductory video on Google Cloud PubSub it's a global messaging service available on Google Cloud platform okay PubSub allows services to communicate asynchronously and also enables we want to create system of event producers and consumers we also call it as a publisher and subscriber model okay so it is like a open source messaging services like Kafka so Kafka also work in the similar uh, model right publishers and subscriber model okay so usually uh, in PubSub publishers communicate with subscribers asynchronously just by broadcasting events okay rather than by like synchronous remote procedure calls in case of RPCs it is synchronous that communication is synchronous but in case of PubSub it is unsynchronous okay so usually publisher will publish the message to the topic and uh, then PubSub will take care of delivering that message to the subscriber okay it is like completely asynchronous okay so we will see that flow so this is one example uh, which has been taken from the Google official documentation so here is the publisher will publish this message to the topic so it's a pops up basically okay and then subscriber will receive the message through subscription okay and there are two different ways to receive the message right from topic to subscriber either through push or pull we'll see that in detail okay now we will see some core concepts which are related to PubSub okay so first one is a topic so it's a name resource right to which message will be delivered by the subscriber sorry publisher okay so publisher can be an application right or it can be a IOT device which would continuously publish messages to the topic okay and then subscription subscription is also named resource through which subscriber will receive the message without subscription subscription subscriber cannot receive the message from a singular multiple topics okay then message this is the actual data right so using which two different application will communicate okay and then message attributes so these are basically key value pairs which would try to describe about the data which is available in the message okay and then publisher this is the application who is going to publish messages or data to the PubSub topic okay and then subscriber is the one who is going to receive that data okay and for we will further process right for his purpose okay and then acknowledgement is a signal which is being sent by subscriber to the PubSub whether that message has been successfully delivered to the subscriber or not it's a way of a communication between subscriber and the pub pub sub it's a kind of a handshaking mechanism okay and then there are two different methods using which subscriber will receive the message from the pub sub one is push in this case pub sub will push the message to the subscriber okay and here the acknowledgement is implicit in case of pull subscriber ex explicitly pull the message from the subscription okay so and you will have to explicitly send that acknowledgement to the pub sub by saying message has been successfully received okay these are the few important or basic concept which are related to the pub sub okay so next thing we will also see a relationship between publisher and subscriber okay so these are the different relationships so here you can see in the first case there are multiple publishers so publisher a will publish message one to the topic a and publisher b will publish message to the topic b and here you, you can see only we have one subscriber who has subscribed to these two different topics this is many to one relationship in this case we have we do have multiple publishers but single subscriber okay in the similar manner if you see here we have we have only one publisher who is going to publish message to the topic C but you can see there are different subscribers they are trying to receive the message from the topic C using two different subscriptions this is one to many okay like that we do have many to many also 
in many to many cases we do have multiple publishers will publish the message to multiple topics and we do have multiple subscribers who will receive the message using multiple subscriptions okay i hope you clear about th this concept right and then we will see some basic use cases common use cases we do have many use cases right but we'll see some common use cases the first use case is real time stream data processing that is where right in case of data flow right when we were trying to process streaming data usually the data will be streamed using pubsub okay so pubsub is a commonly used service while streaming the data okay this is one use case okay and the second use case is parallel processing and workflows for example let's say if you have to perform parallel task right especially using cloud function and pubsub this this combination is very much useful in this scenario if you have to perform multiple task or multiple lightweight details in parallel so by using pubsub and cloud function so you can uh, it can solve that problem okay so we'll see that actually i would like to do multiple demos or videos on this particular combination cloud function and pubsub okay we'll see that right in um, upcoming or uh, demos or videos okay and also you can even implement the enterprise event bus right so events can be shared across the organization this is one common use case and also in order to replicate data among different databases like bigquery cloud sql or cloud spanner definitely pubsub can be used in such use cases okay but here we will see some common reference architecture where our pubsub fits and what is a common use case this is very common use case if you see this architecture so there are two things here we do have a batch processing and also stream processing so batch processing means some batch data is coming from a different sources and it will be available in the cloud storage and it will be right passed to the cloud data flow for further processing but if you see this particular use case there is an app engine there is some application hosted in the app engine and it is continuously sending some logs data or some information about this application then pubsub will receive that details and it will just pass on that message to the cloud data flow for further processing this is in streaming use case if you see in this case app engine is acting as a publisher and data flow is acting as a subscriber pubsub will just pass the message or data from app engine to data flow in stream mode continuously coming data right then data flow will further process the data and it will just insert the data into bigquery then we can perform some data analysis or we can have a visualization on top of bigquery this is some common use case for stream data processing okay and then we will see what are the different iam permission required to work with pubsub okay so these are the common roles which are required for different purposes based on your role right if you have to only view what are the different right uh topics or subscriptions available within the pubsub right so then you can only have pubsub your permission or role this is the role actually it's a combination of different permissions in case of edit you can even change the state of that particular object right if it is a subscription or topic if you would like to change the state of that particular topic or subscription definitely you need to have a edit role so and uh, we do have a admin role also this is a full access basically it is a combination of read and edit and you do have some extra permissions also available within this role where you can perform anything which is related to pubsub okay these are the some basic roles we need to have one who is working with the pubsub okay so now in the demo we will see the introduction like we will try to review how pubsub console look like and also we'll try to create some topics using google cloud console and we'll try to publish some messages and we'll try to create subscriptions right and also we'll try to do the same task using command line interface okay 
I hope you are clear and now let us quickly move to the demo. So, this is PubSub console. So, for this you will have to go here and if you see PubSub is available in Google Cloud Big Data Stack, you will have to come down because there will be Big Data Stack. So, I think now it has been changed to analytics here you should have this PubSub, here it is ok. You click on that and then it will you can see this page right. Now, I will have to create a topic ok, here it we have this option just create topic, just give the topic ID ok, PubSub demo ok. So, keep uh, the remaining option as it is just click on create topic, then this will create a topic. So, usually when you create topic you need to you need to create subscription also, but in the Google if you if you are trying to create topic using Google Cloud console automatically it is also creating a subscription as well, we will see that in a while ok. So, it will take some time to create the topic, once it is created we can go and create subscription explicitly otherwise using Google Cloud console option subscription should have been already created. Now, you can see this is our topic PubSub demo ok. Now, go to the subscriptions you can see there is subscription already created ok. You do not have to explicitly create subscription, but when you are trying to create PubSub topic using command line interface you will have to explicitly create subscription ok. Now, again we will go to the topics click on our topic this is our topic just try to observe this right console how it look like we do have some details about BigQuery and also cloud storage. So, we will see them in upcoming videos in detail ok. Now, this is our PubSub topic ok. Now, let us try to publish some messages to this topic ok. So, we do have option to publish messages click on messages here you need to select our subscription right. Anyway, we do have already subscription available select your subscription to which you are going to publish that message. Now, click on this publish message ok, just uh, type something pubsub demo, now click on publish. Now, you can see message published. Now, where you can see that message right you will have to see that message using your subscription, you do have already subscription available this is our subscription, now you will have to click on pull because you will have to explicitly pull that message right, pull, pulling now you can see PubSub demo this message has been delivered ok. This is how you can manually publish messages to the topic using Google Cloud console and also you can pull the messages and you can see that message over here right. So, this is very basic video actually in upcoming videos we will see what are the different options how PubSub can integrate with other Google Cloud services like Dataflow especially and BigQuery cloud storage right. So, now we will go to the command line interface and we will try to do the same thing we will try to create a topic and we will try to create a subscription and then we will publish message and also we will see that message which is being published ok. Now, let us open or activate our cloud shell for command line interface it will take some time ok. Now, I have already those commands available. So, these are the different CLA commands to create topic this is a command which we can use for creating subscription ok and also for publishing message and also to receive message. So, we will try to run these commands one by one and we will see ok. So, let me try to create the topic ok. Now, my Google this cloud shell is activated it is open let me try to create topic ok. This is the topic name ok. Enter authorize now they should create the topic. Now, topic has been created. Now, let us go to the topics and refresh the page. You should see 
this topic has been already created now you can see this is one more topic which has been created using CLI now we need to create subscription right this is how you can create so you will have to mention for which topic you are going to create the subscription right this is a subscription name you are going to create this subscription for this topic which has been created in our previous step okay now let us try to execute this command to create subscription it should create this subscription Now this sub subscription has been created. Now let us try to publish some message to this topic which has been created in our first step. Okay. So this is hello pubsub uh, one message. Hello pubsub demo. We'll try to publish this message to this topic. And then we'll try to okay pull that message and we'll see. Now this has been published to this topic. Okay. Now we'll try to pull that message using our subscription which has been created. Okay. So we are using auto acknowledgement for that. You like I think it has been flushed out. Let me again try to publish then immediately receive. See now this message, the same message, right? Hello, pub sub demo, message ID, right? And attributes. There are no attributes as of now. It's empty attribute. You can see this message. Are you understood this concept, right? So for this video, that's it, and uh, we'll meet in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.